Hello everybody and welcome to another Ultimate Fighter episode review. This is for episode 6, Let's It Loose. I just had to check what the uh, episode number was for a moment there. And uh, yeah, like as always with the Ultimate Fighter, not a whole lot to talk about, so we're just going to go right to it. So first of all, uh, yeah, we have the training sessions. Benavidez um, actually took his fighters down to a canoeing place of sorts. Give me a moment. Uh... Ah, okay, Lake Las Vegas, he decides to take him out, uh, paddle boarding, with the exception of Terrence Mitchell, who can't swim, so uh, he, he gets a canoe. I just thought that was kind of awesome. So yeah, uh, you know, Team Benavidez has got to have a break, got to do some paddle boarding. Really not much else I can say there, so I am going to move on. And uh, obviously next up, sorry, I had... Ignore that. Forget, forget that existed. Wasn't there. Uh, where was I? <laughs> oh, God. Train wreck moments on camera right now. Uh, ah, video packages. Okay, I had to remember it for a moment. This is all taken. Uh, so we have the video packages of the fighters fighting in this episode. Matt Schnell and Matt Rizzo, uh, both from America. Both at uh, both at different gyms. Matt Rizzo is kind of more interesting because he trains at a gym called Revolution. Something like that, and uh, it's a very small gym. It's not like uh, most of the like big ones that you hear about when you think of the USA. So no, it's nice to see that he comes from kind of a smaller upbringing, and uh, you yeah, know they both have like girlfriends. Uh, I believe Matt Shell and his girlfriend are in a long distance relationship. Kind of sucks, but it is it is what it is, and. Uh, yeah, you know, as as I mentioned, it's nice to see them continuing the video packages. As always, not having much to talk about, so we get to the uh, actual fight of the episode between Schnell and Rizzo. Schnell won, uh, making the score 4-3 for Cejudo. And he won, it was another finish. The finishes continue. Uh, he won in the second round by triangle choke, making him the... I believe the first uh, third I remember to finish by submission. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to look that up very, very quickly, very quickly. Uh, now okay, Alexander Petrov from episode one was the first. Uh, yeah, so uh, that was that was fun. Uh, it was it was fairly even like back and forth first round, and it became a really exciting crowning game. Uh, eventually. And near the end of the first round, Chanel did sink in the triangle choke. I mean, he was on his back and Rizzo was on top, but he managed to sink in the triangle. He didn't finish it, but he he had it. And Rizzo was defending really well, because he's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt and a really good wrestler. Chanel's good in all areas, not fantastic in anything. He's, you know, he's, he's the definition of a mixed martial artist, you know. He does everything good. He doesn't have an area he specializes in. Whereas Rizzo specializes in wrestling and uh, submissions and jiu-jitsu. And he tapped out to a triangle choke by Chanel in the second round. So, yeah. Cejudo, four wins. Uh, Benavidez with three. So, uh, all that's really left to say is a couple of things. One, the final fight of the, of the quarterfinal bracket thing is Tim Elliott from Team Benavidez uh, against Charlie Alaniz. Am I saying that right? Charlie Alaniz, yes, okay. And, uh, yeah, they're going to go in the next episode, and the last thing to say really is I will see you all tomorrow for my Architects episode of Backtracking, probably my most serious episode of uh, Backtracking. Trust me, li listening to, like, that, that last album was just... Uh, we'll get to that tomorrow when we, you know, that's when we'll get to it. I'll, uh, I'll see you all uh, then. Bye.